At Cartflows, we're committed to creating the most flexible yet easy to use checkout system for WordPress. And in this feature update video, I want to share with you a new feature that we've added, which is order bump locations. Prior to this, there was one order bump location, and now you're going to have four different order bump locations. And what that means is you get the flexibility to make your checkout page look exactly how you want your checkout page to look. Our customers love the order bump feature because it is the easiest thing that you can add to your checkout page and your buyers will select it 10 to 30 percent of the time and it's just a real easy win for you and it's a real easy win for your customers and it will increase the average transaction value but we wanted to go further and give you additional flexibility to place that order bump where you want it placed let's just go ahead and take a look at the feature so here is one of our beautifully designed checkout pages and as you scroll down you can see the order bump is here at the bottom, but now you have the flexibility to place it in other locations. Let me show you how easy that is to do. So here I am in the flow that we've set up for this checkout page, and here is that checkout page. I'll go ahead and click on edit to get into the settings for the checkout page. Now when I scroll down, I'll click on order bump, and you're gonna see this new option right here that says order bump location. And when you expand the drop down, you're gonna see the four different locations and a label that perfectly describes where that's going to go. So those locations are before checkout, after customer details, after order, and payment. So let me show you where those would be. So at the very top, this is before the checkout. Right here, this is after customer details. Scroll down, we have after order details, which would be above here, and then the, here's the bottom location. So let's see what these actually look like. So I'll choose before checkout, and I'll scroll up here and click on update. And then I'll go to the front end and do a quick refresh. Okay, so let's refresh the page. And now you will see that order bump is here at the top. Okay, that was one location. Let's see the next location, which is after customer details. Once again, I'll click on update. Now we'll go to the front end of the website and then we will do a quick refresh and see where this moved to. So it's no longer here. Now it's right after here, right after your buyer has entered in their information. There it is. Now let's see the other location, which is going to be after order. I'll click on update. Okay, let's go back to that checkout page. Let's do a refresh. And you can see now the order bump is just below the order details right here, but above the area where your buyer will put in their credit card information. And that's all there is to it to have full control over the order bump locations on your checkout page. This is a feature that I have not seen on any other checkout system, whether it be for WordPress or a checkout system that's in a software as a service platform. This is something unique to us because we want to put you in the complete driver's seat control over your checkout page so that you have total control but as you see it's very easy to change the location of these order bumps we also want to make everything super easy and that's why we made order bump locations for you